Warm greetings to all the NEET aspirants. I'm sure all of you are doing amazing. I'm Abhay Mule. I started my NEET preparation in 2021 by enrolling in the two-year classroom program offered by Akash Institute. Besides academics, I have a flair for oration. I won the national level ethics board debate last year. Apart from that, I have a flair for instrumental music. I have cleared Trinity College London exams till grade six for guitar instrumental music. That is the spectrum of my hobbies. My father is in the defense, he's an army officer, and my mother is an English teacher. I'm the only child, uh, I have two cousins. The elder brother is pursuing BTEC in computer science, and the younger brother is a law aspirant. Uh, the inspiration came from my father. Uh, he always wanted to, me to be in a profession wherein I could serve the society. So initially he wanted uh, me to become an IS officer, but seeing my keen interest in biology since 8th standard, we came to the conclusion that doctory would be the best profession in which both uh, the interests would be satisfied as uh, this is a noble profession which offers a magnanimous platform to serve the society and um, it also supports my interest in human physiology. So that's how I concluded that I wanted to become a doctor. I was introduced to Anthe before joining Akash. When my friends told me that they too were preparing for NEET from Akash, I began my research about the admission procedure. So I got to know about this prestigious entrance exam called Anthe, which offers great scholarships to students. So I studied hard for it and I uh, secured a decent rank and got 90% scholarship. And this was the initial encouragement to me uh, during my NEET preparation, which really gave a boost to my enthusiasm and got me landed into 11th standard with a great enthusiasm and spirit. The main mantra of my preparation strategy was consistency and diligence throughout the two years of preparation. The lessons which the faculty delivered were always very, very comprehensive, cleared all my doubts about the concepts. So my first priority used to be classroom notes, which I studied thoroughly. Then I went to the Akash study package. The try yourself and exercise questions always served as checkpoints to um, ensure that I understood the concepts well. Then I moved to the previous year questions, which gave me the actual feel of the questions going to be asked in NEET. And after that, I moved on to advanced level questions in the Catalyst package, which were really interesting and uh, you know involving and helped me boost my concepts and develop advanced skills. And besides this, the focus was on NCRT theory and also the back-end questions. The Akash packages were so all-encompassing that I didn't have to venture outside for any other study material. And that indeed saved a lot of my time. So yes, this followed, the strategy followed consistently throughout two years, helped me score a good rank in NEET. The intensive test program of Akash Baijus played a pivotal role in my revision procedure. So it was literally a 48-day marathon. Starting from the first day, the first part scheduled test, it was a very, very enriching journey. After every test, there was a three hour intensive test discussion conducted by the faculties. In the evening, I spent almost two hours revising my mistakes. And I had marked important questions in my study package throughout the last two years. So I revised all of them before need. And then NCRT maps, also helped me a lot because there were tables which uh, could help me differentiate between two related concepts and memorize the data given in the NCRT very thoroughly. And the, I divided the 48 day uh, time span into cycles of 12 days each, four cycles. In the first two cycles, I covered up the NCRT thoroughly. In the third cycle, I covered up the classroom notes because they contained a lot of additional information and in-depth concepts which were required uh, in the NEET. And the last 12 days were based around the Akash package and the previous year questions. So that's how I scheduled my time of 48 days for the revision. To be frank, I struggled quite a lot to manage my distractions. Till the last month, I was a victim of my monkey mind. My mind was an oscillating pendulum, swinging from one thought to the other continuously. So the first thing I did was uninstalling WhatsApp from my mobile phone. And uh, you know, the intensive program at Akash Baijus gave me exposure to such a rigorous competition. I saw students who were much better than me on a daily basis. So this competition factor automatically shaved off all the distractions and ensured that I really focused on improving myself and going beyond my competitors. 
and whenever i felt like my thoughts were scattered i sat down and meditated for about 10 to 15 minutes without considering that as a wastage of time because meditation really really you know calms you down puts your thought thoughts in a gunny bag and shaves off all the distractions and helps you focus on the right thing at the right time apart from this i used to play guitar in the evening so that's how i managed to stay focused so the main advice is just be consistent and maintain your momentum throughout the neat journey you should not be perturbed by small downfalls in your journey you should stay motivated all the time and you should give every test with utmost sincerity and seriousness throughout my journey i have i have not missed a single test even if you feel underprepared you should still attempt the test and um, yes when you score really good it's a good encouragement but even if you score bad it's fine there is a lot of scope for improvement and remember that score of one test is not the final touch on your reputation or anything like that you can always improve and learn from your mistakes and remember in the last 2 to 3 months it is really crucial to uh, maintain a good health i used to sleep for at least 8 hours a day 7 and a half hours at night and for 30 minutes in the afternoon while most of my friends compromised their sleep routine and their hobbies i ensured that i balanced everything out quite well in the last 3 months i continued pursuing my hobbies reading books apart from studying for neat and i ensured that i exercised regularly and had good sleep so this uh, the perfect balance in academics and extracurricular activities in life uh, helped me manage my preparation in a seamless manner wish you all the very best good luck thank you so much